drugs in here and it's 10% Alina. Okay, so this is Crazy Girl right here. A oh, bookie bookie bookie. And it's lean. And it's lean. Okay. Well, it's not as far fetched as it may seem. Ah! Hey, guys! <laughs> what you doing with all Let me. Oh, hi! So that's like a winner. Yo. Wait, you didn't even get my booty. Oh. We can know. Yo. Yo. I even give it what y'all said it was supposed to give. No. So guys, I'm not promoting drinking, but I like to drink these. These are kind of like the, oh, see, I'm looking at myself. These are kind of like the, the white claws. I heard some crap. <laughs> <laughs> so can you guys see this? It's the Pina Colada Smirnoff. It has... 4.5% alcohol. It's really light, but it's cute. Okay. And okay. A pokey, okay, pokey, I'm just gonna pokey, use this and it's and it's lean. Okay. And it's okay. So we got the ghetto ness going on, as you can see. Because what is she doing? Because I have on nails, so okay. that's why. Okay. Marcia, I know how to zoom now, girl. <laughs> Yeah. So if y'all wondering why we acting like this, it's because lean. I mean, it's because Is that my cup or yours. It's because oh, taunted. It's because um I just got this camera, so all you ain't much got much nothing on us. If he ate my ass, he a bottom you. Ah! I smell my tree. <laughs> Shut up. I'll catch I'll y'all. Sorry. sorry. The following day. Hi guys, so I am on my way to get my nails done with my sister. Let me show you my sister. What the hell is she doing? <laughs> she outside at the ATM because, you know, she used to get her, her license so she could get a car, so she could do these things. So yeah, let me show you what my nails looks like now. If it would... Yes, focus on me. Okay. So I'm about to go get them done. I'm going to get like black matte with um, flames on them. So you guys will see soon. What's, What's my, my name? name? Beyonce, say my name, say my name. Hey guys, just came back from the nail place. This looks so out of focus. I'm losing lighting because, you know, you go to the nail place, you're there all damn day. But this is my new set. As you guys can see, I got flames. No, I gotta get sun crazy. The following day. That's another day. Every time I come out here, I'm fixing my hair. Let me stop. So today, you're gonna come with me. I'm gonna run a few errands, and then I'm gonna get to shoot in the video that me and my sister are supposed to shoot for our Tri Sisters channel. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you guys click the link in the description box below to access that channel. The next video we're going to do is awesome. So stay tuned. Yeah, this vlogging stuff is for the birds. I can't even set this crap up right, bro. This, I got this damn caramel from the Amazon. And I don't know how to put this thing on my damn dashboard. I have a truck so it's like making it difficult for me to set it up <laughs> tell me if y'all know how to set this damn thing up they didn't even give me like the sticky thing so that I could put the adhesive on my dashboard so I'm trying to stick it to the window and it's not working hi um can I have a grande um what do I want a grande ice cold brew uh with toffee nut and could I have the vanilla sweet cream cold foam? And could they put extra in it? All right, so that was a grande cold brew with coffee and extra vanilla sweet cream cold foam? Yeah. All right, and would you like anything? Um, and uh, no, that's it, that's it. All right, and I'll reach back to you All right, thank you. Thank you.
Guys, I don't need nothing else. Margarita behind. I went on the scale today and I thought I did something because I lost two pounds. So why am I trying to put it back on? <laughs> Yo! First world problems. I'm trying to vlog for you guys, but I really hate this angle and I don't want to hold the camera up because it looks awkward as hell. And I think people are looking at me. So now I know how other people feel when they're vlogging. I don't know how y'all be outright vlogging. Like, it's just normal. But... I'm going. Okay, we're driving up. Give me a second. If you guys saw how I have this propped up right now, you would laugh at me. Like, what the hell? I'm pretty sure everybody's YouTube setups be mad ghetto. Hi. Hi. Thank you. And that's on period. Here you go. Thank you. Have a great day. Thanks, you too. Also, can I have a straw, please? Thanks. I like my customer service voice. So I get a straw because I don't like this little sippy cup thing. They're trying to give me Corona from their hands and I don't play that. Okay, thank you. Yeah, because they were acting like they didn't want to let me go. Sir, pass me that space. If y'all don't know about Dollar Tree, I'm sorry, don't know what to tell you. But I want to know why is there always a Dollar Tree in the hood? I'm not in the hood, but <laughs> it's always close to an area that doesn't have predominantly YT people, if you know what I mean. So, guys. I'm sorry if you don't like this angle. I know it's all double chin from here, but so what I can do to drive safely. Look at the sunlight. I don't even look chocolate in this light. But I'm about to head on the highway now. But who is? I gotta find a Dollar Tree, but I don't know where to freaking go. Do I have to go to Dollar Tree though? I could go somewhere else. Maybe I should go to Burlington. What do you guys think? Let me know. Let me roll these windows up free. You can't hear me. Because it sounds like I'm in a freaking roller coaster. Hi. So your girl melanin is popping today. And I got on a Fenty highlighter. You probably can't see it. But whatever. Riri always got the girls glowing, flowing, shining. So yeah. So damn, I don't know why there's so much traffic today, guys. But let me be right back because I gotta get where I'm going and I can't drive on this highway and vlog at the same time. Later. Back again. I'm about to eat, so you guys are gonna see me eat. I have a Wendy's grilled chicken salad and then a five and a half piece spicy chicken nugget because I ate some of it. <laughs> so let's talk. I'm not even gonna eat this whole salad. I really didn't want Wendy's, but I also don't wanna spend a bajillion dollars because I'm budgeting. Guys, if you haven't been through the struggle of budgeting, you're blessed, okay? I have to budget because I'm trying to move. My ultimate goal is to move to, ooh, to Georgia and on the outskirts of Atlanta. I can't be in Atlanta because it's way too busy traffic is way too crazy I'm more of like a suburbs kind of girl I do not like the city life it's a no for me dog plus I'm a young single woman by myself and people are crazy out here so I'm gonna try to limit all possibilities of getting robbed or kidnapped or trafficked as best I can. You know what? Let's say grace. Real quick. Amen. That was a quick little prayer. So I'm about to go ahead and eat. Mmm. Mmm. I know you're not supposed to talk with your mouth full, but I had to do it. People looking at me like I'm crazy. Because I'm in a store parking lot doing this. 
I should move, but who the hell cares? Here's my salad. Surprisingly, there's hella people that are parked like in a back lot. It's kind of weird to me, but okay. It's giving, why the hell would you want to walk this far to go to a store? What I want to talk to y'all about, let's talk about being single in your late 20s, early 30s. Because years ago, you decided to stop accepting bullcrap. Guys, basically, right now, I'm on a journey to get myself where I need to be because I'm not where I want to be. And financially, spiritually, mentally, I'm working on me. But not to say that if a prospect came along, I wouldn't entertain it. I would entertain it. It just has to be the right person. I've dated in the past. And I feel like the people that I dated in the past were people that I made an exception for. I feel like when it comes to like the opposite sex, I'm all, I'm almost like prone to to I don't know feeling empathy or sympathy for someone who needs to get their stuff together I feel like I'm always top dog in a relationship I don't know if it's because my, it's my natural personality to want to lead or take over but I notice to be the woman I want to be I kind of have to like semi submit and not submit where I'm just taking bull crap no that's not what I mean meaning I, I should probably be a little bit more softer and give the guy a chance to fully lead in the relate type of relationship I want. And that's not to say that I used to just be out here like being taken advantage of. No. But I'm really kind of tired of being Miss Independent because anything I want I could get for myself. But I would love to have some company, someone who's our best friend, someone who could support me financially as well as spiritually. Um, I'm a Christian and I'm looking for a Christian guy, someone who not only talks about God, but also walks, you know, walks the walk and has faith and, you know, they read their Bible, they go to church and they can just encourage me spiritually. You know, there's always the physical aspect of a relationship, but besides the physical aspect, what else is there? You know? After a while, like, besides sex or, like, intimacy, like, what else is there? So, I want to make sure that God sends me the person that I'm supposed to be, be with. Someone who's going to handle me with care because... Obviously, I've been miscared for in a lot of my past relationships. I think my flaw is closing off and not really opening up and talking and saying what I really have to say a lot of the times when I know I should be. And then just bottling it up and then going off after I can't take it anymore. And I know that's something I want. I have to work on because communication is key in a relationship. Slowly slowly but surely praying on it so God can work on me and I can learn how to effectively communicate in any type of relationship not just a you know romantic relationship I don't know it's gonna be hard waiting for somebody because a lot of men out here are for the streets and they want to talk to two three women they want to have their cake and eat it too and I'm not here for that you know it's going to take a lot of work to be with a woman like me. I'm not just going to accept any and everything. No. So, it's official. I think I've been single for 5 years. Not to say that I haven't haven't had any, you know, people that I've talked to or spoken to, but that's what dating is. It's, you know, talking to people and seeing what you like and what you dislike and I can say through my experience of talking to people, getting to know people, I see what I like and I see what I dislike. So I know what I want 
when it comes to a husband. And it's something I'm praying on. And I feel like the older you get, the more, like, stress people put on you. And, you know, oh, when are you going to have kids? When are you going to get married? Honey, that's not up to me. Stop asking me that question. That's up to God. Because at the end of the day, I'm not going to accept any old thing. There's a lot of people out here who are just with people to say they have somebody. I'm sorry to say. And I'm not going to settle. I'm not going to succumb to that. So far, I can say I'm blessed to have broken generational curses when it comes to that type of thing or when it comes to I don't know just being like a baby mama or whatever thank god I've like passed that and yes I'm saving myself to married marriage no I'm not a virgin but I made that pact with god that I would keep my body my temple you know I would keep my temple holy until the person that he sends for me marries me and I plan to continue to keep that a lot of people talk about soul ties but they don't really know what soul ties is having sex outside of marriage your soul is automatically tied to that person and you know you receive whatever good or bad they have and you end up being a reflection of that if you notice you start to change, that could be one of the reasons why you're changing. Because of whatever spirits, you know, they've been tied to are now tied to you. People they slept with in the past. And so on and so on. And I remember my last relationship. It was one of the hardest, hardest relationships to get to get over. I can tell you I had to pray, pray away a lot of the, the crap that came from that relationship. It was so hard. It was so, so, so hard to get that tie severed. But thank God we have a God that can make stuff like that happen, you know? All of that to say is I'm waiting. I'm going to continue to wait until God sends me the person that I've been praying on. Someone I need, not necessarily want. Because, you know, everything you want is not exactly the right thing for you to have. So, yeah, your girl just chilling right now. I'm focusing on my money, my spiritual life, my mental health, and yeah, just having a good time. So, you guys pray for me that, you know, God sends him with speed because your girl ready to go on trips with her boo and vacations, vacations, honey, because hopefully this quarantine thing is COVID. We'll be making her grand exit soon, but yeah that's basically all I gotta say I don't know but thanks for watching y'all see you in the next video